Uh, my name is Mike Roth. I, I grew up in a small western New York town located in between Buffalo and Rochester uh, in, a, in a Christian family that was uh, very legalistic. Uh, it was very much a God of rules, uh, a, a God that seemed like a heavy-handed judge at times. Uh, you can't dance, you can't smoke, don't drink, you can't have sex. And it seemed like a, if I did any of these things, I was uh, doomed for hell. Um, and so at an early age, I, I started rebelling against that religion, against that faith, and, uh, and got into the drug scene, got into the punk rock scene, uh, skateboarding. And uh, at the age of 17, I uh, enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, and where I spent the next eight years. Um, and it was such a great experience. While in the Marine Corps, I was able to get my, uh, my bachelor's degree. Uh, once I was out of the Marine Corps, honorably discharged, I uh, had no place to go and no idea of what I wanted to do. Uh, a friend of mine suggested uh, moving to Philadelphia, uh, which was a crazy idea because I didn't really know anybody here in Philadelphia. And a friend of mine said, well, I can get you a job at a, a Christian social work agency. And I remember going into that agency and uh, at the interview, I, I was very adamant that I'm not a Christian. I have no desire to be a Christian. Um, and God's provision, they, they hired me as an inner city social worker. So I moved to Philadelphia with my girlfriend at the time. We'd been dating for about four and a half years. We'd been living together for four years. Um, and God started to do an amazing thing in me. He started softening my heart and just being more in tune with what he was doing in my life. And so uh, I reached a breaking point on uh, one Thursday night and I went to a church that was having a young adult ministry and I went specifically to have an argument with the pastor and tell him how wrong his religion was. And uh, in the midst of this conversation, the guy just showed incredible grace, incredible mercy, incredible love and just listened to me and listened to all my anger and listened to all my frustration. And that's when the real wrestle began. And I started to realize uh, I don't want to do religion. Religion is man's way to try to get to God. I want to do relationship. And that's what he kind of showed me is that our God is a God of relationships. And he's always been in relationship with himself. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. For eternity, the beginning and the end, he's been in relationship. And he wants us to experience that sense of relationship, that sense of community. And so when I started realizing this, it really changed my whole outlook on relationships, on faith. And, uh, and I came to a, a saving faith about what Jesus did for me. Uh, so at this time, I was learning that whole submission piece of what it means to submit to the authority of God. And uh, I felt this tugging to go to seminary. And uh, like a typical baby Christian, I started making deals with God and I said, okay, I'll go to seminary, but I'm not gonna become a pastor. And then later on, I said, okay, well, if I become a pastor, I'm not gonna be a missionary because missionaries have to raise their own money. No, I want a job that pays. So even while I was submitting to God, I still had one foot in this world. And I still had one foot of wanting to be successful. And it wasn't until I fully submitted to His will and His authority that I found true peace and true happiness. And uh, of all the places to find true peace and true happiness, I found it in Kensington, the, uh, one of the worst sections of Philadelphia. In fact, it's, it's the third worst crime drug corner in America. And it's four blocks from my church and four blocks from where I work and four blocks from my mission field and where my heart is. So uh, that's how I came to a saving grace about a relationship with Christ. And even now as I work, I work with addicts, I work with prostitutes, I work with hustlers. And I have to think to myself, if Jesus were to come back today, where would he be? He would be right in Kensington. So guess what, I'm gonna be the first one to see him when he does return because he's coming back for the lost. And that's what these people are, they're lost. And they're lost just like I was. So I serve an amazing, amazing God who wants a relationship. He doesn't want religion.